What's your number one objection you get every day? Somebody tell me if we could overcome these seven objections, we would close every son of a bitch that walked through this door. Hey, I appreciate it. Thanks so much for showing me the car, but I need to think about it. What do you say? Hey, tell me you need to think about it. But are you lazy? No. Yes, you are. Holy sh! I'm like, hands up, protect your face. You get to the dome and the blood you take. You got one shot, so no mistake. I know half of you in here are going to go to HR, we're done, we're going to say, this guy told us a bunch of stuff today, because you're soft. You're soft. You don't have thick skin. It's the reason why, listen, the number one thing that your job is to do as a man or a woman and the leader of your house is to keep your word. And how many of you in here truly want to change the bloodline in your family? Hey, I, my job is going to get you to reach for more and think a little bit more today, but I'm going to ask you to rethink your life for a minute. Dude, my mom left when I was two years old. It's not a victim story. The greatest thing she ever did, did was get out of there so that I could suffer for 18 years and then 18, get out there and get my own shit. I'm going to tell you guys, you're in an opportunity right now that'll pay you a million dollars a year in this company. Am I right? Yes or no? Yes. Somebody tell me you can't make a million dollars in this company. Tell me you don't want it. If you were to die today, tell me what kind of condition your family's left in. Like I want, who in here has got a wife, husband, kids or anything at home? Raise your hand. Okay, I'm going to ask, if you got in a car wreck right now, because we passed a car wreck with three dead people in it. No, no, none of you in here knows when your last day is. None of you in here know when your child's last day is. You guys need to wake your asses up. Now, I'm a guy that I'm super grateful for the era that we live in. I'm glad today that we have social media, that we can do things that we couldn't do back in 1999. Look, this is the rules of me selling, okay? You ready? You want to know how to get rich? Okay. If you're not selling something, you're looking for something to sell or you're training to get better. This is the, this is the bloodline to becoming rich. You guys want to be rich? Okay. Yes, 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 Either you have a client. Someone's in front of me. Hey, man, what's going on? Andy Elliott. How you doing? Welcome here. How you doing, man? Awesome. This is my guy. He's here with me. Or he's not here with me. Now what am I doing? No, what am I doing? I'm on the phone. Hey, hope you have the best day of your life. And I'm, and I'm reaching out to people. Can you guys cold call anybody? Yes. Yes, I can show you right now how to make a cold call to any customer that bought a car in the last three years to get them into the dealership and talk them into buying a car. I can show you how to do it live right now. I ain't done it in 15 years. You know why? All you got to learn how to do is one time and you become dangerous at it. Repetition's the mother of skill. You know what I learned? Anything in this world that someone can do, if they can teach it, it's a skill and I can learn it. If it can be taught, I can learn it. So it doesn't matter that I'm an idiot. It doesn't matter that I made bad grades. It doesn't matter that I barely graduated school. It doesn't matter. None of that matters. And some of you in here, you have great parents. You have a great family. You have a great mom and dad. You don't have any brokenness and your life's been amazing. And the deal is, is that you're disrespecting your parents that kept everything together for you and you're shitting down their throat. Come on. I'm serious. Now, my family wasn't like that. My dad was married seven times. Mom married seven times. Jerry Springer show. You know what? That's not going to be my life. So I want to tell you, I'm 44 years old. There's the day you're born, the day you die, and the day your life changes forever. Every one of you in here today, you can bury your old life because in order to get your new life, you're going to have to give up your old one. Do you understand? If you're lazy in this room, if you're entitled, if this guy's entitled, he'll have to get up his, his entitledness to go to the next level. It's the way it goes. And by the way, what got you to where you at? Where you're at is good, but you can't go here and stay the same. Something's going to have to give. Okay? So there's two rules to business. Rule number one: Don't ever let anyone else know your business better than you. Period. You got objections every day. You get them. All right? If I hit you with them and you can't overcome them, that's embarrassing. Somebody tell me, there's three rules to getting rich. One, I'm selling something. Two, I'm looking for something to sell, which means I'm on the phone in most cases. I'm digging through my CRM. I'm looking for something to sell or I'm training to get better. Your goal is to work, and you guys haven't been taught this, and I know you haven't been taught it because there's always work that needs to be done here. Your number one goal is to work harder on yourself than you do on your job. When I look at a lot of you, I can tell a lot of you in here don't take very good care of yourself. I'm not being disrespectful. I can tell that you're making bad choices with your food. You're not exercising right. And however, all those things impact the way that you feel about yourself. And if you don't really love who you are and you don't really believe that you're growing and you don't have progress in your life, there's a good chance you're not going to be super happy. And that's not going to sell you a lot of shit. You can't make people happy when you're not happy. Am I right? If you don't love yourself, how the hell can you give someone something you don't have? See, this business, people burn out all the time. And they don't make it. You know why they burn out? They literally lose their purpose. Your purpose in your life is up to you. What do you want? I'm going to tell you how to discover your purpose. By the way, I'm going to teach you how to sell. But if you don't know this shit, why would you pay attention today? Why? 
Dude, don't tell me I'm the first person that ever taught you how to make more money, how to have a better life, how to elevate your life, how to increase. A lot of people have told you it's the right message to the right person at the right time. Every day I teach, I know, just like I asked that young lady, I said, hey, why do you got that look on your face? She don't want to be here? Get out of here. Hey, it's cool. Let her go back to her old life. But for those of you in here that want to learn, I want to talk to you. Does that make sense? Do you want to learn? Okay, if you wanna learn, do you wanna learn? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Yeah. How old are you? 23. Wouldn't it be cool if you made a half a million this year? Yeah. I mean, what would happen to your life? What would change? How would your parents feel about that? Oh, they'd be happy. Dude, they would be blown away. They don't think you can do it. They don't think the car business is doing it. This is the transportation space. This is the most amazing industry on planet Earth. You guys get that? You guys get it? Yes. First of all, rule number one, you got to be grateful for where you are. If you're not grateful for where you are, it doesn't matter. You can't do anything with it. This is the transportation space. Are you grateful? Yes or no? Yes, sir. How long have you been selling for? Uh, five months. Five months. What's your number one objection you get every day? I'm just looking. I'm just looking. Come here. Okay, everybody say intelligence. Intelligence, intelligence is this. If he, if he gets this five months, he's been here, he gets his objection every day, and people say, I'm just thinking about it. Am I right? Come on. Come on, son. Let's get up here. Let's go, let's go. This is how we train. How do we train? We train by putting people up here in front of people. Why? Because we got to know that you know what you're doing. Do we want to pretend and hide in a corner that we know what we're doing? We're going to pretend, oh, don't call on me. I'm going to get, I'm going to call, I'm going to tell my boss. I want to, no, dude, get your ass out here. What are your objections? I need to think about it. Got to talk to my wife. Payment's too high. Price is too high. Want more for my trade. Got more cars I'm going to go look at. Don't we hear the same shit every day? Somebody tell me if we could overcome these seven objections, we would close every son of a bitch that walked through this door. But we run around here all day, broke asses, complaining, looking like shit, not leading herself. You can't lead anyone else when you don't lead yourself. And then I'm going to hit him with the simple objection, one that he's been struggling with for five months. He's had five months to get it down. And I'm going to see how well he's got it handled. Intelligence. If you got a problem in your life, if you can't solve your problems, you can't solve anyone else's problems. You guys, I'm, I'm breeding you to be winners. I don't care how old you are. How old are you? Me, 46. 46? Love it. 56, 23. Don't give a shit. I want the guy, how old are you in the back? Guy with the hat. Good, king. Oh, I don't give that information. No, 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 no. <laughs> let's, say, let's say he's the oldest cat in the room. Him or 18 years old or 16. The deal is it doesn't matter. What matters is, I said, there's the day you're born, the day you die, and the day your life changes forever. I remember the day I sat in a meeting and literally my general manager goes, hey man, listen, I want you to understand, once you see it, you can't unsee it. I will show you my bank account, I will show you $100 million. I will show you, I sat in here as a car salesman, I paid attention, I was passionate, I was hungry as shit. And some of you, you got the arrogant ass look on your face, this is the reason why you're broke. Your bank account is your fault. Every time something goes wrong, you're supposed to look in the mirror and say, that's my fault. When I win, I'm like, yes, that was me. I did the work. I get that win. That was me. I lost. Man, that was me too. But you know what? I win from my failures. This is good for me. It's good for you to win. It's good for you to lose. It's 50-50. I lose 50-50. But when I lose, I see what I did wrong. Data back. Get better. I go attack. When I win, I don't want to hold any ego. I got more money than I know what to do because I'm great at sales and I'm great at being a leader. I can tell you guys, if you'll become a great leader, which is going to happen today, in common sense, we can understand intelligence. Sales is intelligence. When I say, we're on the lot, right? Mm -hmm. We're sitting here on the lot. I say, hey, I appreciate it. Thanks so much for showing me the car, but I need to think about it. What do you say? No, 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 no. So you... All right, hold on. Listen, All right, what's your name? Garrett. What's your last name? Levin. What's your date of birth? Uh, 1996. What's your address? Okay, you know this stuff, right? <laughs> hold on, stop. But hold on, hold on, hold on. But you know, hold on, but you know this stuff. Where do you work? What's his name? 
Okay, true. Okay, why does he know this? Because he knows it. See, anything I ask him, if he knows it, he'll tell me. The problem is, if I say I need to think about it and he can't tell me, it's because he don't know it. Now, the problem is, he's been struggling with this for five months. But are you lazy? No. Yes, you are. You're lazy. Why wouldn't you go figure out who knows that in this company? That, that's it. That's lazy. You're lazy. Hey, own it. Don't get, hey, don't, don't, don't get all like, oh, I can't believe you came in. They, they brought this guy in to call us lazy. You're lazy. It's your job to figure it out. Whose job to figure it out? That's your job. That's your job. But you think it's your fucking manager's job. You think it's someone else's job. It ain't their job. It ain't your job. It's your job. Your paycheck is your money for your family. That's your job. That's your job. Once you realize it's your job, what happened? 1999. Dude, if I couldn't close a deal, someone didn't look at me right, they split my shit in half and brought in a new guy that was better than me. And then I got to follow him around and fucking watch him do my job. And then when it was over, then I go, ooh, I get another shot at the next customer. Now, he goes out there, I need anything, I, I, I can't figure out what's going on with this guy. Boss, boss, come talk to this guy. Why? Dude, that's your job. That's how I made a half a million. That's why I got a hundred million in the bank. This is why I'm killing it. Because I was trained. You guys, your job is to be a leader. You're a freaking leader. Your job is to self-lead yourself. Rule number one to leadership. Self-leadership. If you don't lead yourself, you can't lead anyone else. I can't lead you if I'm not leading me. If you don't see me leading myself well, will you want to follow me? What is a follower? Someone who voluntarily decides to follow somebody because they look up to them or they like what they're doing. When I go out to help you, how you doing, Andy Elliott? Immediately, he's looking at me, he's judging me, he's seeing if I look like a commission breath salesman or a leader in the company. Does that make sense? You ever wonder by why the managers come out from behind the desk and they got their shit together and the, and the customer's like, oh, oh, and they come out, they say some shit, that, 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 and they're like, all right, we'll take it. Why? It wasn't what they said. They were leaders. They were leaders. They got their shit together. They're composed. They believe in themselves. They practice this stuff. So my point is, is that there's some main objections we get every day. Common sense. You guys are all getting hit with the same shit every day. Am I right? Has 99% of people bought a car from someone else at some point in their life? Yes or no? Do you think they did a good job or a bad job? Bad job. Bad job. How easy is it for you guys right now to go outside, be a leader, know this shit, and take every customer down? It's shooting ducks. This is easy. Anybody in this room making less than a quarter of a million a year is because you're not working on yourself. That's it. You don't work on your mind, okay? You don't work on your belief system. You don't own your shit. You don't look in the mirror and take responsibility. Hey, th by, these are core values. This isn't, this isn't how to get rich. This is how you should live as a man or a woman in this world. You're in the United States. You're extremely lucky. Immigrants are coming here every day and getting rich, making a lot of money. They couldn't do it in their company. They come here and they freaking do it. Okay? Guys, listen. Hey, and by the way, if I don't wake you up today, I'm sorry that you're dead. Live the rest of your life dead. I feel sorry for your family. I feel sorry for your wife, the promises that you've made her that you were going to freaking change, and you didn't. I feel sorry for her. Seriously, you're a piece of shit. No, matter of fact, you're an average person, which to me, that's embarrassing because I know that in my bloodline, I was the one that was called to change my whole family. Was it you? Was it you? Was you the one called to change your whole family? That's not how you answer. No, it's not sorry, but that's not how you answer. Am I, is it, are you the one going to change your bloodline? Yes or no? It's that simple. Listen, dude, the way that you answer, the way that your eyes look, the way that you're paying attention in this room right now, it means everything. The little things don't mean a lot. They mean everything. I watch the little things that people do. I watch some of you right now. I can tell that you're present. And this is the day that you're going to change. I come here to change you. I didn't come here to freaking tell you. I didn't come here to trigger anything. I didn't come here to throw that lady out here. I came in here to find a couple people in this room that want to be the example for everybody else in this company. And not only be the example for everybody else in this company and raise your standards, raise your core values and live by a different, a different life, also change your family. Dude, my family's in a good place, guys. I mean, like, you fucking kidding me? Like, does that mean anything to anybody here? Like, if I was to die today, I'm good. That's all I want for any of you. Now, are you in the right boat? Yes, you're in the transportation space. You can't row this boat harder. It's not how it works. 
You got to get smarter. See, the automotive industry, because it's a mind screw, because there's all this shit going on at one time, you got to learn to say no to certain things. You got to learn to say yes. You got to kill distractions. This dude comes around talking some bullshit. I, I block him out. He's done. He's like, hey, man, want to talk about sports for the weekend? I don't play with him. I'm figuring out where are the leads coming in? How, where can I get my hands on a phone? Where do the customers come in? What time do we say the most busyness? What are the highest traffic levels? By the way, how good am I at speaking? What is my communication skills? We're in an era right now since COVID happened and people are to wear a mask and stand six feet apart. They can't even speak anymore. People don't know how to shake a hand. They don't know how to look in people's eyes. People don't even know how to talk. Dude, words are godlike. When I'm selling somebody something, I'm envisioning they don't even have eyes. And I'm painting a picture for them so they can imagine this thing that I'm trying to, to make them see so their mind can see it. And so I take them to a place. I'm showing them what's on the other side of this decision I'm about to ask them to make. I'm showing them. I'm painting it with my words. That's speaking. You guys get it? And you got to wake up, man. You think people come in here in a great mood being like, oh man, I want to buy something today. No, they come in here, they got problems in their life, and when they meet you having a kick-ass life, you know what they immediately do? Change states. And when you have a better state than they have and they change over to your state, that's called a buying state, then they buy. Mm. This is you. This is all up to you. I am the master communicator. What does that mean? Make it easy to say yes to, hard to say no to, and make it the client's idea every single time. Look, dude, I'm the one waving the whole thing and making it happen, but I'm making them feel good. When people come in here to spend money, are these cars more expensive than they used to be? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You guys are going to have to be better. By the way, will people pay more for a better experience versus a lower price tag on a, on a dealership they hate? Yes. Don't ever forget that. You could literally hold five grand on every person's trade in here if they loved you. If they loved you. If they like you, they'll listen to you. If they believe you, they'll buy from you. It's a very simple process. Like. What's the first thing? Like. How likable are you? How likable are you? It's everybody running around here and go, dude, we love her. We love her. They better. They better. They said that about me. By the way, people said, calm down. No, I'm not going to calm down. I'm here to break records, fool. Come on. I'm here to break records. By the way, listen to me. I've talked to people right now that are super. I remember when I was younger, this guy told me, he goes, dude, you're going to make a million dollars selling cars. I know you are, man. I know you're. You're built different. And I remember this guy. I used to tell him what I was doing. I'd tell him how to wake up in the morning. I'd work out. I'd do my morning routine. I remember I would tell him I was listening to these things so I could reprogram my mind because my greatest responsibility in, in my life was to control my thoughts in my head. Because a lot of you, the reason why you get beat is because you can't control this. So you don't even get beat by her or by him. You beat yourself every day. So I learned that I was taking myself out because of the way that I was raised, the shit that I saw, the programming that everybody told me I was. The world tells you, you're ugly. You can't make it. No ways, dude. You, 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 you screwed up. We know what you did, bro. You got a felony. You got a felony. We know what you did. We know you cheated on your wife. We know your shit. So you run around with this shame and all this bullshit. And you know you were lazy. And you know you let him down. You know you got out of shape. That's all lie. Good. That shit did happen. But who's going to reverse it while you're still alive? You. Guys, bodies are resilient. Minds are resilient. Once you get around the right people, once you get the right information, you become dangerous. Dude, this is how you win. By the way, you guys don't get to go home with me. You have to steal what I'm telling you. You have to hijack the way that I think. You have to put it in your mind and you have to walk around this way and you have to guard your mind. He, when I see things that aren't to my standard, I check it immediately. People don't like that. But you know what? Human excellence is all that I want. My customers, all my customers. Guys, I've got 500,000 people that train on our platform. I got customers. My customers know one thing. My goal is to keep their goals at the center of the decision. The decision they make with me, the goals that they have, I ask them to keep those goals at the center of the decision they're going to make with me. Did you say that you want to easy this? Did you say easy gets you nowhere? Just so you guys know in here. You want the easy road? The God of this generation is comfort. Comfort is the God of this generation. If you seek comfort, guess what you'll get? Discomfort. If you seek discomfort in here, which is, man, I'm going to train every day for one hour. I'm going to challenge my brain. I'm going to stretch it. I'm going to make 200 phone calls every day. I'm not going home until I sell two cars or I hit 200 phone calls, one or the other. It's a non-negotiable. When you choose that discomfort, you'll look up and your life is comfortable. You're like, man, my bank account's right now. Dude, I like me. By the way, everybody ask yourself this one question. If I do this, will this make me respect myself more? It's a great question to ask. By the way, the way that I'm talking to you today is not as a sales trainer. Forget all that shit. 
I'm teaching you guys how to lead yourself. Who's in, who's in charge of your life? You. You ever heard that saying, no one's coming to save you? It's the truth. Every one of you, most of you in here will run out the same way you came in. This simple objection that I hit him with, some of you, who knows it? Raise your hand if you know. If I say I need to think about it, I'm on the lot. Who in here can handle that just like that? Give me another try. Hold on, stop. I'm going to give you another try, but look around the room. Raise your hand. Hold on, but look, 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 look around the room, look around the room, look around the room. But, but isn't this crazy? Do we, do we get hit with this every day, yes or no? Yeah. Okay, how long have you been selling for? 16 years. Okay, why can't you handle it? Why can't I handle yeah. it? Yeah. I can't handle it. You can't? Okay, come here. I'm going to let you come right here with him. I got you. This is an opportunity for you to show me you got this, okay? All right, now come here. I'm going to give you another shot. You ready? Yeah. This is baby shit. Everybody agree? Like, I'm not doing advanced. Andy came in here and tricked the whole room. No, I, I didn't. I didn't trick anybody. I, I said, there's simple things that come in every day. This is going to be, uh, guys, where are we at? We're on the lot. Does that make sense? Are we inside or are we on the lot? What's the goal on the lot? Advance the cell forward. That's right. Advance the cell forward. We're on the lot. We're sitting there. They're seeing the double set of doors. And they're like, oh, man, I remember last time I went in there. I bought something. I think I need to get out of here. Does that make sense? We know if we can get them inside, we got a whole army of people inside ready to take that deal down with us. Am I right? Yeah. We got to get them inside. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Cool. So go simple like this. Hey, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for letting me drive the car, but I need to think about it. Go. No, I totally understand. And I just want to ask one thing. Did you love the car? Yeah. I mean, I liked it. Yeah. You liked it? I wouldn't feel comfortable with selling you a car if you didn't love the car. So that's my first question is if you loved it. Yeah, and I don't love it. I like it, though, but I, I like appreciate it. you. Okay. Why don't we go inside? I'm going to give you 10 minutes. I'm going to get a uh, write-up ready for you, and we'll see if we can Appreciate you, man. Thank you, buddy. No, that's okay. I totally appreciate it. If you don't love it, I don't feel comfortable. So All right, stop. Kill the love word. Kill the love word. Am I right, guys? Listen, hey, do you love it? Do you love it? Come on, man. Yeah. Love's a pretty strong word, isn't it? Hey, let me ask you a question. I know that you like the car. I know that it felt good. I saw, the, I saw the look on your face when you were driving it. It seems like it's exactly what you want. If the deal made sense, right? Like, whatever. But don't go into this love shit. That's where he's going. He's trapping himself. Does that make sense? Okay, now do me a favor. Stop. Hey, listen. Can I critique you? Winners can take criticism. Losers can. Does that make sense? I'm not calling him a loser, but I'm giving him an opportunity to put his head up. So let's stand up. Let's got straight posture. By the way, I'm changing his life right now. When you speak, I need you to be able to believe in yourself more. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay, your eye contact. Remember I said people don't know how to shake a hand? Eye contact. Look at people in the eyes when you're talking to them. Believe. How in the hell can I get them to believe if I don't believe? How can I get them to have something that I don't have? Guys, if they're uncertain, who's got to have certainty? Me. Holy shit. I'm like, dude. This is up to me. They just drove this car. They could be anywhere in the world, but they're here with me? What? What? No ways. Dude, no, people don't go to the McDonald's drive-thru and go out, to, go out the other side without food. I am the cashier. They are going to check out with me. We're rolling inside. That is my job. What do we need? A couple word tracks. Does that make sense? Yeah. But we got to believe. You can't just go blah, 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 blah. And they go, oh, shit. Yeah, we'll go inside now. It's like, you got to believe too. You got to have certainty. You got to understand. All right, let's rotate. Is that cool? I got my man right here. I know you're ready. How you doing? This is easy. It's not nothing crazy. It's just, hey, I appreciate it. Um, I need to think about it. Go. Do you think about it? Yes. Do you think about it in general? Um, I just want to think about it. Anything in particular? Price, car color, anything? No, just kind of think, think through it, and then I'll get back with you. Well, I can give you something to think about. I know we looked at a couple of colors that you may like or whatever, the white one or the black one. Which one do you prefer? Well, that's what I was going to go home and think about. Okay. Well, I can show you since they're the same type of vehicle, I can show you a price on it so you can have something to think about so I can get back with you and you can communicate with me. Okay, watch. I'm going to help you. Patrick, watch this. Patrick, here's what we're going to do. Everybody, everybody, right? If you got notes, all right, everybody, say, 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 cut the fat. All right, listen to me. The more you talk, your words are a weapon. You're weaponized. Does that make sense? So it's like you're, you, you're kind of like, well, you know, like, you know, I, you want to think about what, what do you want to think about? Look, I'm going to ask you a question. I could ask him what he wants to think about, but even if he tells me, am I going to close it right here? Nope. No, I got to go inside to close it. Do you want to sit down and have a conversation with me on the inside and we'll dig into all that shit when we have a worksheet in front of us, we're writing shit up, we're knee to knee, and we're sitting here together like this? Or do you want to talk like that outside on the curb? Inside. 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 
Guys, so what do you say? Of course you need to think about it. No, of course you need to think about it. Agree with them. Hey, tell me you need to think about it. Of course you need to think about it. I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. Look, what I would like to do is give you a quick five-minute proposal of all the numbers so when you go home, you truly have something to think about. Would that be fair? Yep. Did I get that for you? Sure. Get this son of a bitch <laughs> going. Get him going. In there. Watch. Watch. It's in the training system, the magical training system that you guys have magical passwords to that only unicorns get to get inside. You guys got this shit. This is how I took 100% of the people who told me they need to think about it on the lot. 100%. Andy, I don't know. We need to think about it. Guys, of course you need to think about it. Boom, disarm. I literally take the bullet, I take the gun, open it, empty the bullets out, hand it back to them. Guys, of course you need to think about it. I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. What I would like to do is give you a quick five minute proposal of all the numbers. So when you go home, where are they going? So when you go home, they ain't going home. Ain't nobody going home. Just so everybody's aware. Everybody's like, well, my manager won't give me numbers. They're not going home. Everybody get it? Yeah. Are they going home? No. Nobody's going home. Nobody's going nobody's home. Nobody's going home. They're going inside, which is our home. Okay? So they're going to come into our home, and then I'm going to do this little thing. I'm going to get this little write-up sheet. I'm going to say, hypothetically, when you are ready to buy, Patrick, how would you like your new vehicle tighted? That, 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 that. Okay, cool. And the vehicle you're trading outside today, that's going to be a vehicle you're trading in. Would you agree? Cool, let me go ahead and grab the keys to that so I can have my manager. Now I got an ACV card. Then I say, also, you got a payment on the vehicle you're trading outside, so no payment's going to be important to you on the new vehicle. Would you agree? Yeah. Cool, let me go ahead and get two seconds of information. Boom, now I got a credit app. This son is buying a car. I got a credit app, I got the keys to his car, I got an ACV card, I got a write up sheet. Guys, you see this? Boom, what is that? That's called the rabbit hole. This is a rabbit hole. I just took him down the rabbit hole. Down here, He's already given me everything that buyers give me. Right. He's already internally made a decision to buy and he's went farther than he expected. I took him farther than any other car dealer could take him. I own him. Now I got my manager, got a trade card, got ACV. By the way, how do I communicate with my manager? Hey, Mr. Manager, I want to let you know I got this guy out here. He said I need to think about it. I hit him with the, I need five minutes. Give me a quick proposal. Bop, 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 bop. I got his information. Let's go check out his car. Let's see if there's any check engine lights on. Let's find you some ammunition to get him to buy now. I'm going to make sure that he loves us. I'm going to keep talking to him. When that worksheet's ready, I'm going to go out. I want you to know I don't have this solid concrete commitment, but the guy wouldn't have came in if you don't want it. You got me? Okay, give me a chance to do my job. Let's go. That's it. Now I got the guy committed. He don't give all this information out when he's not ready to do something. Basically, he's giving me everything that I need to make a decision. You just don't want to openly say it because that's against his rules. Can we live around that? Yes. This is how you sell everyone a car. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.